lovely YouTubers, it's me, Morgan Tracy J, coming today with a new video for you guys. I'm so happy you're here. If you're new here, be sure you subscribe. If you're old here, welcome back. Happy to have you. Today's video, I'm talking to you about refocusing. Because the truth of the matter is, guys, is there's many days where we are not very focused, including myself. So one reason I'm even talking about this is in the last week, I began to focus on my issues and my problems more than the God that I serve. So I, when I say I was focusing on them, I mean like financial struggles. There was a lot of things that I was giving a lot of my energy to. Like, oh my gosh, how is this going to work out? Also, too, I was getting very impatient. Like, oh, like, I need to figure out something. You know when you just try to run and handle everything yourself? Well, that's exactly what I was doing. And I was wondering why my peace wasn't there, why I didn't really have joy, and I was just going, to, going through the motions, right? I felt like I was, more, instead of, like, working in grace, I was working on fumes. I was overwhelmed. I was frustrated. I didn't know how this was going to align with this and how this was going to work out with this. Like, I had all these questions, and I'm just like, God, where are you at, man? Your girl needs to make some decisions, Jesus. Jesus, where you at? That's how my mind was. But the truth of the matter was, is I realized that when I took my eyes off of Jesus and focused on my issues, that's all I was going to see. I was no longer going to be riding on grace. I would be riding on fumes, wondering why do I not feel free? Why do I not have peace? Why don't I have joy? The truth of the matter was, is I never was giving my attention to Jesus. And that's what a lot of us do, including myself, obviously. And so today I want to kind of help you refocus because this is what God just took me through this past week. And I want to share it with you guys because I'm not in this alone. There's times we take our eyes off of Jesus and focus on our issues, focus on our problems, focus on everything around us. And we're saying, God, why is this not working? But it's because we took our eyes off of God. We took our eyes off of our creator. We took our eyes off the one that can make all things right. We took our eyes off of him and focused more on our own hands, on how we can make things work and on our problems, right? So if you're there, then I'm going to give you three tips that's going to help you get this thing back together and get refocused, okay? So the first thing I want to tell you guys is to remove distractions. This weekend, that's something God really put on my heart was to remove distractions. Each of our distractions may be very different, but one thing I knew for me was social media, man. Social media can be a distraction. My ministry sometimes can be a distraction. So I took a day to where I know social media, no ministry, where I just kind of just sat with Jesus, right? So remove the distractions in your life. If it's your favorite TV show, if it's, you know, scrolling on Instagram for an hour, if it's getting on YouTube and watching 20,000 videos, okay? I'm not against you watching videos, but if God is calling you to refocus, then you need to be willing to remove the distractions. Those are like sacrifices that you're making in that time. And guess number two, what you're going to do with that time? You're going to give it back to Him. So in the time that you usually would be watching your favorite TV show, or you would be scrolling on Instagram, or you would you be sitting there not doing anything, that's your time to give it back to Jesus. And how you give it back to Him is you can do it in prayer, you can do it in Bible study, you can do it in, and in worship. But how you get to this place is first you have to be willing to plan and prepare, you have to be willing to find the place you want to go to, and you also have to be willing to have a purpose. Plan a reading schedule you have. Say, okay God, I want to read Matthew. And if you're someone who's just starting with this, I would highly suggest to start in the New Testament. Start with one of the Gospels. Also too, something that I love to do is I read a Psalms a day. And either after Psalms, then I go into Proverbs and read a Proverbs a day, right? Because they're really short, but also they're very lifting and most of all in Psalms you get to see it feel the joy of the Lord you get to praise God through that so plan something that you're going to read come prepared plan what you're going to read and the next thing find the place that you're going to do it if it's in your room room then I will highly suggest not to do it on your bed because I've done it before and fallen asleep okay and you don't want to do that right so go ahead and plan to a place that's not necessarily on your bed so find somewhere you can get along with Jesus and so you can start this all right and and the next thing is, guys, is knowing your purpose, why you want to do this. What is your purpose to come into it? And the truth of it is why we need to come to Jesus is because most likely we're running on fumes. We're lacking peace. We're lacking joy. Maybe there's an affliction in our heart and we don't know what's going on. And so truly the answer is Jesus. Maybe there's issues within your mind. Maybe you're battling depression. Maybe you're battling anxiety attacks. Trust me, I know about these things. So you need to run back to Jesus and you need to get strengthened and you need to get the courage to stand boldly. And how you do that is if you get into your reading, your worship, and in your prayer. One of the biggest things, and this is tip number three, is just going to get you back on track. Because 
something that Jesus says to the disciples. And he says, come and dine with me. And one of the things about this is when you come into that place with God, he's saying, come dine with me. Come eat with me. I'm going to give you natural and spiritual food to help you through your struggles. If, the, if anxiety is attacking you, I'm going to give you the right food so you can overcome it. If depression is attacking you, I'm going to give you the right nutrients so you can overcome it. And I want to tell you that today is God wants you to get back on track with him. And how you do that is you decide to take your eyes off of the wind and the treacherous things around you and you focus back on him. You say, I'm going to remove those distractions, God. I'm going to quit talking on the phone all night long. Trust me. I'm going to quit doing all these things for a while, God. And I'm going to focus on you. And when you do that, God will reward you openly. What you do in secret, God rewards openly. So I want to inspire my daughters of God out there today. All the daughters of God out there, be sure you come and you dine with Jesus. Come and eat with him. Come and sit at his feet. Come and chit chat with him. And one of the words I said when I was sitting back trying to just talk to Jesus and tell him how I was under focus, I said, I need you and I'm scared. That's all I started with. I didn't have to start with, oh, Father God, you're so precious. Oh, God, I love you so much. I literally just said, I need you and I'm scared. I'm scared about these decisions that I have to make. I'm scared about what's going, what's going to come later down the road. I'm scared. I need you. And when we get vulnerable with God and get broken before God, guess what happens? He begins, to, he begins to strengthen us and give us what we need. So if you are someone who needs to refocus, take these three tips, guys. And also within these three tips, I've given you additional three tips like read, prayer, and worship, but also plan, place, and purpose. When you know why you're coming to it, then you say, that's why I'm coming. So every morning you say, God, I'm coming because I need help. God, I'm coming because I'm scared. God, I'm coming to this because I need you. God, I'm coming to this devotional. God, why I'm reading tonight in my bed before I fall asleep is because I need peace when I go to sleep, right? There was a season in my life where anxiety would attack me in my sleep. So I want to tell you that I had to start to read scripture at night and I had to meditate and I had to stretch before bed to prepare myself so I could sleep peacefully. So I want to tell you guys, listen, God is saying, if you want more of him, give him more of you. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. So be willing to refocus your vision and say, God, I'm coming back. Hey guys, well, my camera shut off in the middle of recording. Did not realize it until I was getting ready to edit. Then I was like, oh my gosh, my camera shut off. But long story short, guys, I pray you got uplifted by this video. I pray it inspires you. Be willing to refocus. Also, sign up at my website for weekly devotionals sent straight to your email. And last but not least, I'll see you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Refocus.